season 12's Who Are Zoo is a pretty underrated episode, to be honest. Like, SpongeBob at a zoo sounds like a really fun concept. Take a look at these clips. Hey, Jimmy, I found your ball. And your sister. Hi. And the elephant says. And the zookeeper goes... Again with his kids! These are not pets! These are wild animals! And you can get seriously injured! <laughs> now, of course, this episode has some mistakes. I mean, it's why it's in today's video. So here's the first one. And as always, let's see if you guys can catch it without my help. These little cuties are dangerous! <laughs> For me? Thanks. This first one's pretty easy, but for the most part throughout this episode, this monster's antenna has like a red spike ball at the end of it. It's always red, but near the ending of the episode, for like one scene, it's now purple, which was just a weird continuity error. And I've got another one. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Oh, time to feed the sea monsters. Ooh, Ellie Zoop. This one is pretty bad. As for one frame, um, what's going on with SpongeBob's pants? They're yellow. Well, like his shirt is yellow. That's, that's a mistake. And I've got some crazier ones coming up, so stay tuned. First up is the episode For Here or To Go, an episode where Mr. Krabs comes up with a smart idea to entertain customers. are in the jar and when it <laughs> sorry a Krabby Patty I have a guess <laughs> Plankton you don't get to guess hey Mr. Krabs has a cool little game going on but the issue is he's discriminating against Plankton which is gonna come up later on in this episode but first let's see if you guys can catch the first mistake on your own can't do that, it's not fair! Oh, I'm sorry, but it's me restaurant, and I can do what I please! I know you'll try to analyze that patty and find out me secret formula. <laughs> you'll pay for this, Krabs! I'm calling the Bocas Business Bureau! According to Article 57 of the Greasy Spoon Code, any fast food contest must be open to all customers. You have to let me guess now, Krabs! So here's the thing. Most of my longtime viewers already know, but there's supposed to be a path connecting the Chum Bucket to the Krusty Krab. We've seen it in numerous other episodes. You can see it in this clip right here, but they're directly across the street from each other, and there's a path. But in this one shot, there's no path connecting them. There's a path in between, but yeah, definitely a mistake. And here's another one. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Mr. Krabs, it's awful. We're all out of buns. No buns, Dread. The luck. Got a delivery for the Krusty Krab. Where do you want us to put these buns? <laughs> Good thing I ordered us extra blah for the contest crowd. Now, I know some of you guys missed this one, but here's the issue. This table and barrel has like this white outline. It looks like they were like poorly photoshopped. It looks really rough and is definitely a mistake. And we've got one more that has to do with our boy, Mr. Krabs. 
SpongeBob needs to clean the grill first. I cleaned it this morning. Doesn't your spatula need a line in or something? Nope, she's perfectly aligned. Direct your efficiency. Dude, what the heck happened to Mr. Krabs' pupils? This is actually somewhat of a common mistake in SpongeBob, and sometimes people try to defend it. But no, guys, this is definitely a mistake. Your pupils don't just disappear. Let's keep the video moving, though, and move over to our next episode. It has some crazy mistakes. Oh boy, this next episode really packs a punch, probably because it's all about karate. Here, take a look at the plot. It's a really good one. Who is this intruder that fails to attack me. That's my friend, SpongeBob SquarePants. Whoa. You know karate? He doesn't just know karate, he is karate. <laughs> Fuzzy's here to test me for the highest belt in karate. But Candy, you already have a black belt. Yes, but there's one even higher than that, the blacker belt. Gee, if you want a belt, you must earn it. Okay. But how can anyone ever truly know whether he or she is worthy? It is simple. I conduct a series of tests, and if you pass, I will give you a belt that shows you know karate. Like I said, the episode has a really cool plot, with SpongeBob training to get his karate belts, and he does in the end. But at the same time, there's also a mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it. Yeah! Sensei Fuzzy, are you okay? I was wrong about you, SpongeBob. You are now a karate master. Here. For me? You are terrible. Oh, God. Sandy, what's wrong with Fuzzy? I know what he needs. He just needs this. <laughs> This one is really bad, but as you can see, Sandy's entire body like duplicates for a frame. And no, this isn't like an animation technique. This was a straight up mistake. And here's another one. Let's see if you guys can catch it. Boy, I can't wait to show Sandy my new karate move. Ah! Oh, Sandy! Oh! Sandy's in trouble. Don't worry, Sandy. I'm coming to save ya. Yeah, yeah, this one admittedly isn't as bad, but, um, why is SpongeBob's teeth yellow? A fairly common SpongeBob error, but it's still a mistake, and it's still worth mentioning, and the one coming up in this next episode is crazy! First up is the episode Nautical Novice, yet another Mrs. Puff banger of an episode. I really like this episode, so check out the setup. Maybe tomorrow, if I can impress Mrs. Puff with an extensive knowledge of boating history, she'll give me a boating license on the Spot. Ah! Hey, wait! Hey! Mrs. Pop! Please stop the bus! What was that? Nothing! Step on it! Wait! <sighs> no worries, I made it. Man, SpongeBob was very committed to getting on that bus and he succeeds. But let's rewind a little bit. As back during the beginning of the episode, there are two really bad mistakes, guys. Let's see if you can catch them. Which brings us to the subject of rudder maintenance. Barnacles, just as we were getting to the nitty gritty. Wait a minute, class. <laughs> Remember, we will not be here tomorrow. We will be going on a field trip to the boating museum. Now run along, kids. So first up is this one, which I don't think I need to say much, guys. For about two frames, this incidental just loses her shirt. And I actually think the animators did this on purpose because why are her breasts, like, drawn? The other mistake is this one. So as you can see, this girl is wearing pearls, but for one frame, two of them turn black, which was just another weird mistake. There's another one later on in the episode. Let's see if you guys can spot this one. Welcome, class, to the Boating Museum. This enormous vessel was once the largest in all the seas, but now that it's been converted into a museum, it no longer moves. Ooh. 
This one's kind of funny. So as you can see in this first shot of Incidental 14, she has no belly button. You can see, right? You can see her stomach, there's no belly button. But then, randomly in this shot, she now has a belly button. So a weird continuity error. Not that big of a deal, but hey, the ones I have coming up are spicy. First up is the episode Cookie Cooks. A very weird episode, but with a pretty funny plot. Here, take a look. Kerr and I will have the kelp consomme mm. to start, followed mm. by the sargasso salad. <laughs> <laughs> and the sweet and sour algae. That's one last thing to try. <laughs> uh, waiter, there's an eyelash in me soup. <laughs> This is so embarrassing! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> oh, oh no, don't go, sweetie bird! Yeah, Mr. Krabs got himself in some trouble with his wifey, Mrs. Puff, in this episode. Really funny. But don't worry, he has a plan and brings her over to his house for dinner. And this is where we can find our first mistake. Let's see if you guys can spot it. <laughs> The sparkling cider is extra fizzy tonight. Now you just relax, Puffkins, while I consult with me very expensive private chefs. <laughs> this one is really bad, but for about one frame, um, what's going on with Mr. Krabs? It's like some of his body's cropped, like the top of his eyes, the side of his claw, and that ain't even it, as there's another mistake in this episode. Let's see if you guys can catch it. How are we supposed to cook anything with this junk? What are you talking about? This is high quality Navy surplus here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so maybe it's a little outdated. Now just get cooking, and the dinner had better be fantastic, or else. This one is just like weird. As look, where's Mr. Krabs's mouth? It's a weird animation error here. You can tell there's something going on with the animation, and we've got another one. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me check the quality, my dear. I power my grub, Bob. Oh. Oh. I'm famished. That's not food. That's SpongeBob. Yeah. Now this one is really easy to miss since it only happens for one frame. But boom, Mr. Krabs's claw detaches from his hand for a whole frame. It looks very odd and was definitely a mistake. And hey, I've got even crazier mistakes coming up, so stay tuned. Next up is the episode Free Samples, where Plankton comes up with a really good scheme. Like this was a smart one. Take a look. <laughs> what do I owe the excessive volume of this giggling? You may thank my new and original idea, darling. Free sample. Once everyone gets a taste of my delicious chum, they'll tear this place apart to get some. Plus, it's free. And who can resist free? Tip right up for your free samples of delicious chum. Hey, what did he just say to us? I just said they're free! Eat up! <laughs> what? I had no idea the chum was this rotten. I better not be here when all this agony turns to anger. <laughs> So as you just seen, Plankton just made a bunch of bikini bottomites very sick. But what he does that's very smart is he lies and says that the chum is actually from the Krusty Krab, eventually leading us to this scene, which also has our first mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it. It's all over for the good old Krusty Krab. It's probably best if you start looking for a new job, boy. Maybe in a different line of work. Well, only one thing left to do now. I'll have to move back in with me, Ma. Five minutes later. Dear Neptune's gill sacks, this is the best thing I've ever put in my mouth! Yay! Oh. Did he just say it was good? <laughs> 
Now this one is very, very sneaky, as take a look at this fish right here. As you can see, he's wearing this bright red shirt. Remember this, it's it's kind of fresh. But literally seconds later, and his shirt like changes to a pink shirt. It looked like this at first, but now it looks like this. Talk about a big mistake, and of course, there's another one. Let's see if you guys can spot this one. I had no idea the chum was this rotten. <laughs> Hey, he's making a run for it. We can't let him get away with this. Let's get up and work. Hey, what's all the hubbub? Again, this one is very sneaky, and it has to do with audio. So when we first see this fish right here, he has this voice. Hey, he's making a run for it. We can't let him get away with this. Let's get up and work. But then when we see him again. Hey, what's all the hubbub? His voice is completely different now, like his voice changes halfway through the episode, which is totally a mistake. And I've got one more! Happy patties, anyone? <laughs> this one is very easy to miss, but if you look, Plankton laughs, like his mouth moves for the animation of laughing, but I'm gonna play the clip again, listen, as he doesn't make any noise, like there's no sound that comes out of his mouth. This next one is one of my favorites. I'm talking about slimy dancing. The episode has just such a funny plot. Here, take a look. Well, Squidward, old boy, all that's left is to go win that dancing trophy. Nobody ever worked harder to get it than you. All those years of training, your tireless effort to keep your instruments supple, not to mention your weekly thigh waxing. Music, please. <laughs> Next. Uh, excuse me? You didn't make the cut. Sorry, Matt. But I, hey, hope you get the unhandy, you boots. Man, poor Squidward. Like, I know Squidward is a very grumpy guy, and he's kind of mean to SpongeBob, but I do feel bad for him sometimes. What I don't feel bad about, though, is this mistake that I'm going to expose. Let's see if you guys can catch it on your own. <laughs> SpongeBob? You're just not getting into the spirit of this thing, Squidward. Don't. Help me out! How'd the audition go, Squidward? The audition? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's kinda easy, but as you can see, our boy Patrick is missing his mouth. It's just gone. Poof. Here's another one. Keep your eyes peeled and comment it if you find it. Tommy, I've got a fresh loaded lot. <laughs> oh dear me, no! <laughs> I'm just doing the crap. <laughs> this one's pretty tricky, and honestly, it's very, very easy to miss. But take a look at what numbers she puts in on the phone. She's supposed to be calling 911, but look, she actually puts in 811. This is how a keypad would work. So yeah, she definitely clicked eight, and this is a mistake. And let's keep it moving, because I got more. So this next episode, Gullible Pants, has three very complicated mistakes. So I'm just going to get right into them. Here's the first one. Let's see if you guys can catch it yourselves. 451, 452, 453, 454, 455, 450. Ah! Like I said, this one is very, very complicated, so take a look at this shot. As you can see, Incidental 92 is eating with Incidental 51. They're having a nice meal together. But like seconds later, and now Incidental 92 is eating with a completely different fish. The other mistake is quite similar. In that opening shot, we can see Incidental 48 eating with Incidental 41. But then, seconds later, and now Incidental 48 is eating with a completely 
completely different fish in seconds. So definitely a mistake, and there are a ton of mistakes in this one section. It's pretty bad. There's some crazier ones coming up though, so stay tuned. I gotta say, when it comes to the episode Jolly Lodgers, I really feel bad for Squidward. Like the dude just wants a break, and then this happens. Are you going somewhere? I'll be staying at a hotel for the next few days. For peace and quiet. <laughs> Well now, this is very nice indeed. This is heaven. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Room service. Come in. <laughs> Squidward? What a happy surprise! Like poor Squidward. And things get worse as this episode also, I mean, duh, has some mistakes. Let's take a look at this first one. <sighs> you stay away from me! I don't want to see either of you in any part of this hotel! Come on, this one's easy. I know you guys caught it. You're probably commenting it right now, but boom, SpongeBob's missing his mouth. Okay, I've got one more, and it also has to do with a missing mouth. Let's see if you guys can catch it. No SpongeBob. No Patrick. <sighs> ah, peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I hate to nitpick, but um, Patrick's missing his mouth, and that's like a really bad mistake. But hey, I've got some that are even crazier coming up, so let's get into them. Our first set of mistakes can be found in the episode Plankton Retires, an episode where, well, I mean, the title kind of explains it. Here, check it out. Mr. Krabs, did you see that? Plankton is retiring. <laughs> Yeah, so turns out Mr. Krabs has beaten Plankton down so much that this man, this evil little dude, retires. It's crazy, but hey, maybe there's a twist. Before we get to that though, let's take a look at the first mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it. He covered me in urchins, fed me to a seahorse, and stung me to death. I am head in the Oh, I think someone needs their papa. Don't you see? We're done here. He said for the nine billionth time. You know, Sheldon, if I had a dime for every time he... Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. When we first see Karen, as you can see, she isn't plugged into anything. There's no cable coming out of her computer body. But literally a second later, and look at this shot, as now Karen is plugged in and requires to be like powered, making for a really weird mistake. Here's another one. Just like this one, let's see if you guys can catch it without my help. How long will you be staying with us? <laughs> Forever. And so begins my retirement. <laughs> you see there, lad? Plankton is up to no good. Yeah, so I was right. There is a twist, as you can see, but also more importantly, um, what's going on with Plankton's eye? His, like, pupil is just gone, and it looks really awkward. Let's move on to some even crazier mistakes, though. So as you guys can probably tell, I'm a little addicted to SpongeBob. I love the show. But in the episode Treats, Gary gets addicted to something, and it's really funny. Like, Gary is tweaking in this episode. Take a look. Oh, Gary! You've got a big surprise coming to you. Meow. So 
Dinobite. <laughs> Gary, that's an awful lot of snail bites for one evening. Are you sure you want more? Whoops, looks like that was the last of them, Gary. We're all out. <laughs> Gary, it is four o'clock in the morning. What exactly do you want from me? Yeah, like I told you, Gary is on one in this episode. Like, he is dying for more of those treats. Dude is tweaking out. So much so, guys, that I'm gonna show a couple more clips because it's just so freaking funny. Here. Excuse me, do you have any snail bites? We need some snail bites. Oh, no, 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 no. Those sold out almost immediately. Ah! Oh, okay, Gary, I'm off to the Krusty Krab. Hope your day will be as fun-filled as mine. Whoa! Gary? Okay, okay, mistake time. So we have two mistakes in one scene. At one point, Gary shows up to SpongeBob's work, and if you look at his shell, his colors are the wrong colors. This is how his shell is supposed to look, but as you can see, they like flipped the colors by accident, which is definitely a mistake. Gary, what are you doing here? You're causing a scene! I know, you want more snail bites. Well, you could try going to the factory where they make them. Thanks a lot. This episode has one more. Take a look. Take a look at this map. This is a map of every pet store in the entire world. We've been to every single one of them, Gary. I can't keep looking, Gary. I just can't. Hey, SpongeBob! Are your snails still meowing? I know you guys caught this one. It's very straightforward. But SpongeBob's missing like his pupils, like the rest of his eye. It's, they're just gone and it looks really weird. This happens pretty often, but yeah. Let's move on to another episode. Our next episode is a SpongeBob classic. I'm talking about Krabby Land. This episode is all about Mr. Krabs coming up with a new scheme to get money out of kids on summer vacation. Here are some clips. It's hilarious. You see, boy. During the summer, the children are excused from their classes, a recess commonly referred to as summer break. I guess summer isn't coming this year. Hey, maybe they're all at that new playground over there. Playground! Learn away, me young customers! Just look at them, SpongeBob. So weak and malnourished, with nobody trying to sell them nothing. <laughs> Breaks me heart. <laughs> The way you drove the boat, the lying on the ground was kind of cool. But that's not going to get these munchkins away from this playground. Unless... SpongeBob! You're just in time for the grand unveiling of Krabby Land! Here we go! I give you... Krabby Land! Now, as funny as this episode is, it does have two mistakes that are very easy to miss. Another day, another dollar. Gee, I wonder what Mr. Krabs has been up to since I saw him last and then went home to do nothing of particular interest till this very moment. Huh? So as you guys seen, Krabby Land is meant for little kids. But during this scene where we see like this big lineup of people waiting, we can see numerous adults incidentals. They're supposed to be kids, but the animators put adults instead, which was a mistake. Here's another one though, and let's see if you lovely people can spot it yourselves. They seem to respond to me being in pain. They enjoy other people's miseries.
This one is definitely easy to miss, but this incidental right here loses their eyes, well their pupils, not their actual eyes, but the pupils in their eyes for about like a second. It looks really rough, but stay tuned guys as I have some even crazier mistakes coming up. Next up is the episode The Hankering, an episode where we learn a very dark secret about Mr. Krabs. Eugene got the usual here. One big steaming plate of chop. Enjoy. Oh, I don't understand, Mr. Krabs. Oh, I suppose there's no hiding it, boyo. It all started back in my old Navy days. Our supplies had been decimated. Oh, all we had left is chop. I was starting to feel peckish. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, that flavor. Sweet, gamey, with a creamy, chunky mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. ah, I've had a chum monkey on my back ever since. <laughs> yeah, this dude loves chum. So much so that it really gets him into trouble later on in the episode. And this is also where we can find our next two mistakes. Take a look at this first one, as there's two mistakes in one clip. Let's see if you can spot it. <laughs> I win! You get nothing! Okay, so for one, during one of these frames, Mr. Krabs' pupils are missing. And no, it's not because he's blinking, guys. Your pupils don't just disappear. And literally like two frames later, look at this one. There's something up with Mr. Krabs' eyes. His pupils are off of the actual eyeballs, which was definitely like another animation mistake. And there's even another one in this episode. To capture the natural bouquet of the chum, I made this batch entirely from old snail litter. <sighs> A little dry. Next! Ooh, I think you'll like this one. It's made from wishes and love. <laughs> it's too sweet! It's very easy to miss, but for one frame, one of Mr. Krabs's like, sleeves is red. It's the same color as his skin when I mean it's supposed to be blue like his outfit. Weird. The episode Trident Trouble is a pretty good episode. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I do like the premise of the episode. The setup's really funny. Here, take a look for yourself. Behold this idiot and beware, for Trident Trouble comes. No, the toppings haven't been prepped. I wish this lettuce and tomato would just cut themselves up. Let's do this! Now to be honest, this episode only really has like one mistake and it was hard to find. But during this scene where Spongebob uses the magical trident to help this dude, well, take a look for yourself. Let's see if you can catch it. What's wrong, Grass? Why won't you grow? Talk to me. Yeah, it happens fast, but for about one frame, this dude loses his entire mouth. It's crazy. And this is a fairly common mistake, but it's, again, still a mistake. And I've got more. Next up is the episode Super Evil Aquatic Villain Team Up Is Go, which is a really weird title, but this episode's pretty cool. It's all about Plankton teaming up with another villain to wreak havoc. Take a look. Maybe what you need is to join a club or something. Meet new people. You know. Make some friends. Are you suggesting I forge an evil alliance? Um, something like that. I... That is an excellent idea. Man Ray, we meet at long last. And who would have thought to find you here, working a part-time job restocking vending machines? And now let us join in evil alliance. Have we met? I Plankton know of a secret formula. The oh so precious secret of the Krusty Krab. Once that formula is in our possession, we... I'm listening. Then together we will steal the formula, crush Mr. Krabs, and rule the world! <laughs> hey, the episode has a pretty good plot, and it's kind of funny seeing Plankton go and get Man Ray, but you already know it's coming. This episode has a mistake, and this one's pretty bad. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Going to work. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. 
I'm going to work. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Going to work, go, going to work. Um. Okay, so take a look at this fish. As you can see, she has eyes. But take a look at her during this scene, as her eyes are just missing. They just didn't draw her eyes. It looks really weird, and I kind of get it. It's a zoomed out shot, but damn, looks very bad. Let's move on though, I've got more mistakes. Next up is a very hilarious episode. That being the episode Dear Vikings, an episode where SpongeBob writes a letter to Vikings, and they actually respond and show up. Check it out. I like I said, really funny episode. Dear Vikings, I am writing to ask you guys about your lives and stuff. If you would take the time to answer all my neat questions, then that would be really swell. Your Majesty, look, a letter. How incredibly interesting. I must read it at once. Welcome to the Krusty Krab, may I take your order? Dear Vikings, our chieftain sent us here because we got this letter. SpongeBob, there's some Vikings here to see you. See, I told you, really funny. But what isn't so funny is the mistake hidden in this episode. It's very easy to miss. Let's see if you guys can spot it on your own. Regular, large, and the new Viking size. But Mr. Krabs, these are all the same size cup. I don't forget. Each participating patron who purchases any drink of our new Krusty Krab Viking Size Cup gets a chance to try on this genuine cardboard Viking helmet! Mr. Krabs, what's a Viking? Oh, well, uh, the Vikings lived a long time ago. So as you can see in this shot, SpongeBob has holes or pores on his sides, right? Because, you know, he's a sponge. But during this one shot of the opening, his pores are just gone. The, they're just missing. Talk about a mistake, especially when they were there literally seconds before. Don't click off yet though. This next mistake is crazy. Okay, and last but not least, I have like five or six mistakes all in one episode. And I gotta say, I love this episode. I'm talking about feral friends. Mm -hmm. Whoa. She's going on here. Oh, <laughs> Atta girl, sissy. Atta Look girl. out, Bob. <laughs> SpongeBob? Patrick? No, not me. Ah! Huh? I guess it only affects sea critters. But I still don't get why that green moon is turning everyone into wild swimming fish. This episode has an awesome plot, with the title zone turning all the different SpongeBob characters into like the real fish versions. And of course, the episode has a couple of mistakes. It actually has like five or six. Take a look at this first one. Stroke! Stroke! Oh! <laughs> hey, kitties! It's your old pal Patchy floating somewhere over Bikini Bottom. I'm just here for the buffet! Give me that! What do you think you are? A seahawk? I can't help it if I was born a predator! Honey, I guess you're right. Can you ever forgive me? Shake! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so there's a big continuity error in this scene, as when we first see Patchy, his hands are just bare. He doesn't have a hook on his hands like he normally does. But then, literally seconds later, and the man now has a hook on his hand. Definitely a mistake. We did not see him put it on. And let's take a look at this other mistake. Squirrely birthday, dear Sandy. Squirrely birthday to you. This one is kind of weak sauce, I'll admit, but when we first see Sandy's birthday cake, there's a squirrel on it. But then, during this one shot, the squirrel is just gone. Hold your breath, critters! Uh -oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> Thanks for the lift, Pearl! Don't you worry. Nobody's gonna eat you guys on my watch. Uh, 
So normally, Sandy looks like this, with her neck being brown, the same color as like her tail. But during one frame in this episode, her neck is white, which is a major mistake. And of course, I've got one more, guys. This one's spicy. So as you can see, Sandy has been turned into a squirrel version. And take a look at the squirrel in the helmet, it has a tail, right? Well, why does the rest of Sandy's body, like her suit, also have a tail? This is like a major mistake and it's a, it's a bad one. Our next set of mistakes can be found in the episode, Can You Spare a Dime? An episode where Squidward quits his job and well, this happens. He ends up living with SpongeBob and pushing it way too far. Spare change. Spare change, ma'am. Squidward? Squidward, is that you? I lost my job, my home, everything. Even your paintings? Nobody would take them, so I had to eat them. There, there. You can come live with me. Okay, but just till I get a job, one day, Two days tops. Nonsense. You stay as long as you need to. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I know he still isn't looking for work. Don't rub it in. Yeah, like I said, Squidward takes things way too far and kind of takes advantage of SpongeBob's kindness, eventually leading to these next set of clips. And there's also a mistake hidden in these clips. Let's see if you guys can spot it. It's about time you got here. Here you go, your majesty. I can't drink that. Why not? That lemon has three seeds in it. That's an odd number! Because when I need a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job! What are you saying? So here's the thing. This is how SpongeBob gets to the Krusty Krab. He comes out of his house and he goes to the left. We've seen this in many episodes, right? The Krusty Krab is to the left of SpongeBob's house. But in this one shot, SpongeBob goes the complete opposite way. He goes to the right, which is definitely a mistake. Let's be real. It's kind of strange, but SpongeBob's iconic pineapple home is, well, iconic. But what if I told you in the episode, Home Sweet Rubble, that SpongeBob almost loses his house? Take a look. The house must be settling. Well, that's better. I can fix this. I'll feed you when I'm done. Okay, now that that's taken care of, time to feed Gary. Now this episode has two mistakes, and the first one is like really weird. I don't know how they missed it, but let's see if you guys will miss it. I don't think you guys will. Comment it if you find the mistake. I'm having another eggs and pencils crisis! Not now, Patrick. And Squidward has done a great job holding it all together. Against my will, I'm on it. Will you help? Well, I suppose I could join the cause. But it'll have to be our standard deal. A week of my wages per hour? You got it, kiddo! For those who couldn't find it, well, let's zoom in on SpongeBob's arm, as his arm actually is slightly detached from his body. Like, you can see it's like his arm is falling off of his body. Really bad mistake. And here's another one. Let's see if you guys can spot it. <laughs> So take a look at this image. As you can see, this is Patrick's iconic rock home. I mean, I don't know who would live in a rock or under a rock, but it's here. And as you can see, there is a path. But in the episode we were talking about during the scene you just seen, where's the path? 
it's gone. Yeah, an another mistake, it's a bad one. Now, that's going to do it for today's video, guys, but I wanna give a massive shout out to the Grapple Gang. Like seriously, shout out to all of you guys, especially the Premier Gang. Anybody here at a Premier right now? Yo, 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 yo. By the way, if you're new, make sure to subscribe as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video. So if you're subscribed and you comment, I'll respond for sure. Anyways though, I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.